Hi guys. So how can we actually pray? Now some people actually ask this question: How to pray an effective prayer, or to say how to pray a prayer that God can answer me? Now there are people out there that have misconceptions about prayer. You know, some people will assume that you know praying a long prayer go answer them. All that perhaps if you pray a prayer that is very very long and of long hours, God would actually hear you. Or some people actually say that if I need God to do something for me, I will need to fast. I will need to you know fast for thirty days, forty days. All that perhaps I should just go on a long fast. You know, perhaps not to eat meat or just eat vegetables. But you know, these are actually not the conditions for God answering our prayers. So how can I pray a prayer that God answer prayer? Here are some of the tips, okay? And I hope that this can help you in your prayer life. Number one here is that stop praying to satisfy your need. Now we gotta know that what is our identity. We are the children of God, and therefore we gotta trust in His goodness. Now our God is not a slave driver, so if you fast for like forty days, it doesn't mean to say that God will answer you more because He loves to see you being tortured. But rather, we gotta believe that He is the Father that always cares and always loves, and He's the Father that will provide. And therefore, before you even say it, God knows what you actually need in your heart. God knows what you need, and He has already prepared. And therefore, we call Him Jehovah Jireh. So let's look at the scriptures, and I hope that these scriptures can help you in your prayer life as well. Let's turn open your Bible. We can see Luke chapter eleven, verse nine to thirteen. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you; seek and you will find; knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. If a son asks for a bread from a father among you, will he give him stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him serpent instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gift to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Now, therefore, as we're seeking His will and as we're praying, we gotta know who He is. He is Father that loves and He cares for you. Now, very important when we pray, we gotta pray according to His word and according to His will, because His word are the words that are keys to unlock all these blessings in the heavens. Question here: Are you the child of God? Now, if you are the child of God, the Father listens to the child's prayer. Now, here Jesus' disciple asked Jesus this very question: How to pray? Jesus responded to them and said. This is how you should pray, our Father in heaven. Now here Jesus addressed God as the Father. So if you are the child of God, Father will listen to your prayer. John chapter one verse twelve here says, "But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God, to those who believe in his name." Now we see that God gave us the right to be His children, and therefore with this identity. It brings forth authority, and as we pray, the Father hears you. So try out this way, okay? So change the way how you think and how you pray. I am the child of God, and my Father cares. My Father loves me, and the Father listens to my prayer. This week, you can try it out in your prayer life.